classroom. Now let's begin. Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. Wow, baby, you guys ready to do this? Delisha Kalani Braden, Mr. Maverick himself in the building. Hey, I'm going to host it from here. You take off, brother. Hey, teachers, how you guys doing? That is the greatest mascot. I love it. And I love you. Welcome to the show. I am so excited you can be here today. Look at these three students about to take on their three favorite teachers from Millville High School in Cumberland County. You guys know them. It's in New Jersey. Who's going to win this thing? Students, teachers, they're in the classroom. And we're about to find out what's on the line today. Just a big old $500 check and bragging rights. It's winner take all. And we start this one, you guys know it, with a pop quiz. <laughs> your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. These guys are pumped up out there. My students are rocking. They have their buzzers in hand. Teachers, so do you. Good luck, everyone. Pop quiz starts right now. In the NHL, what is the highest number of players that can earn assists on one hockey goal? Braden. Two. Two is right. Guy loves the NHL. What Mary Queens of Scots and Lovely Blones actress was featured in Ed Sheeran's Galway Girl video? Let me speak for everyone when I say, huh? That's Saoirse Ronan. That's who that was. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Montana? First one in, Braden. MT. MT is right. What science lab equipment is a tall, narrow container marked with horizontal lines and used to measure the volume of liquids braided again? Beaker. Incorrect. Uh -huh. First one in, Mr. Knappen. Graduated cylinder. I will accept it. Nicely done. Educa uh, extra credit question. This one's worth double. Here we go. During the 1840 United States presidential election, what future president used the slogan, Tip a Canoe and Tyler Two? It's a fun slogan. First one in, Braden. Polk. Incorrect. Free guess here for the teachers if you want it. Otherwise, we move on. William Henry Harrison's the answer there. What is the name of YouTube's Red Karate Kid spinoff series? First one in, Mr. Knappen. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is correct. What is six multiplied by six? First one in, Knappen. 36. 36 is right. In literature, what is the term for the time and location in which a story takes place? First one in, Mr. Brandon. Setting. Setting is right. You guys are on a little hot streak here. Students, break it up. What is the term for a baby whale? First one in, Kalani. Calf is right. In October 2019, which U.S. women's national soccer team player announced she is pregnant with her first child? Answer there, we are looking. Oops, your first one in, Mr. Knappen. Um, Hope Solo. Incorrect. Free guess here. Name any soccer player. Carly Lloyd. All right, way to buzz in there. Answer was Alex Morgan. Couldn't get it done. Brandon tried, though. You tried the free guess. Nicely done, man. I probably went away with Carly Lloyd, too. Alex Morgan, how about that one? What a start here. My goodness, Mr. Brandon jumps in there to the Mr. Knappen and Braden show. Oh, my goodness, they were on fire. Kalani got going. Delasia, Miss, Miss M, I love Miss Mons here as well. Everyone's in the studio ready to rock. And I say M because it's Millville High School in Millville, New Jersey, home of the Thunderbolts with the greatest mascot I have ever seen. So a big shout out to my man out there. Where do you meet the rest of our team? My name is Brian Bach. I'm a 12th grader. I plan to get polycytering and go into law. I'm Kalani Flores. I'm a junior, and I'm going to study pediatric medicine and minor in psychology. Hi, my name is Elijah Johnson. I'm a senior, and I plan on majoring in neuroscience to become a neurologist. Hi, my name is Bill Brandon. Normally, I teach uh, history and economics, but today, the students are going to learn how to lose gracefully. Hi, my name is Victor Knappen. I teach medical terminology, and when I'm not being mistaken as a student, I'm a father to two sons, Tripp and Killian, and a husband to my wife, Danielle. Hi, I'm Sheila Montesino. I teach U.S. history, and I'm a huge Phillies fan. <laughs> Six people that are going head-to-head. -head. Check it out. we got a 12th, 11th, and 12th grader that want to take down their teachers. Who's going to do it? I'll tell you right now. They're probably going to start, and here's a good way to do it, is detention. Put 
once your buzzer's down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. This is why I truly love this show. We go to those little breaks, and then you see kind of who's really in this game. Knappen hits Mr. Brandon and gives him the old, let's go, we got this, we got this. <laughs> Will they get this? Well, I'll tell you what, you guys are on the back burner for a second, because students, category goes to you first. You're trailing by 10 here. How much do you love science? Play. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna play. Here you go. Which of the four main components of human blood is the liquid portion that transport nutrients, hormones, and proteins all over the body? Go with that. Yeah. We're on golf plasma. Plasma is gonna do it. Good job, guys. So ladies and Kalani, you guys said in, in the intros there, you're, you're looking into the medical stuff. So that was right up your alley. I'm glad we could have that. And uh, Brayden, you guys three here get to pick who a teacher's gonna be first into detention. Go Mr. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, you guys went early on him. Is that is that the uh, is that the all-knowing Mr. Brandon? That's our academic team coach. And that, so that was a great reason to get him out there. Our <laughs> academic team coach has to sit in detention. And here we go, teachers, back to you. How about this one? You take a history teacher out of the books, and your category is history. The good news is you have two of them on the team. <laughs> Pass or sure. play. We'll play. We're gonna take it. Here you go, guys. Good luck. In the battle of. Palmito Ranch is generally considered to be the last battle in which American war? Mexican-American. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the Mexican-American. Incorrect. We're looking for the Civil War is the right answer there. Tough break. Please. Students, you are about to take a two-person lead. Who's it going to be here? We are going to take Mr. Knappen. Mr. Knappen out of the game. There's our science teacher. He heads to detention. Smart play. You saw the history question already got pulled into play here. So you get rid of the science teacher. And now we go back to you. This is for the win, unless you want to pass it. Category, literature. We'll play. Here's your question. Good luck, you three. What is the full pen name of the author of the books on which HBO's Game of Thrones is based. George R. R. Martin. George R. R. Martin. Oh, they sweep the round. She's out of there. You're headed to detention. Hey, you guys. You got three teachers in detention. I'm going to give you 40 points. Get you up to 70 on the game. Students, you're officially on fire. Don't go anywhere because that fire could be extinguished. Our class is next. What's going on? And that's right, Millville High School is in the house today. What's up, everybody? How we all doing? Good. All right, so what grade are you in? Tenth. Are you surprised by the students jumping out to the early lead here? Yes, I'm very surprised. Can, can they hold on to this thing, guys? I think yes. they can, yes. All right, well, then let's go. You guys know three, two, one. Let's go, Millville! Here's how the game works. Each team selected one player to draw. Mr. Brandon's up here with me right now. So you guys are going to go first. Now, Mr. B, you're going to select one of these two color cards. There's a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. You're going to have five seconds to draw on this board. Teammates, you'll have 10 seconds to make one guess so you can talk about it. Correct answer in the first round here. 30 points gets added to your score. You're sitting at 40 right now, so 30 would be really, really helpful. You guess incorrectly. I'll give you two more tries. The points decrease. Right. But here we go. Let's do this thing. Let's go with Nova Blue. All right, you got it. Open that up behind the easel here. You ever taken art class? No. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm glad they selected you to be our illustrator. You ready? Five seconds. Here we go. Starts right now. 
And stop. Here we go. You guys ready? What is it? <laughs> stack of bricks. Okay. Stack of bricks. Okay. Hold it right there, and we move to round two. Starts right now. Love a good stack of bricks. No help from the audience. I know you guys want to help here. Okay, you ready? Exactly. Oh, Scotch yeah. Hopscotch for us? For 20 Hopscotch. points. Hopscotch is right! They get it done. It's so hard not to be able to draw numbers, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love what you did with the arrows. We're going to switch you guys out. I'm going to give you this red card, Kalani. That's the one for you. As I race the board, 20 points for the teachers. That's your word. Your five seconds starts right now. Okay, stop right there. You ready? Here we go, guys. What is it? It's a toothbrush. That's a toothbrush! 30 points! Students, grab the extra 10 points in the round. Officially shoot them up to 100 points. Teachers, I know you guys. I'm a teacher myself, so I'm going to hook you up with a little extra credit. Everybody loves extra credit, right? Well, I'm going to ask both teams one question during the commercial break to write down their answer. Correct answer and extra credit, 10 points. Here it is. What is the name of the faction that is considered selfless in the book series Divergent? A little clue. It's also a movie. Do you know the answer at home? We're going to give it to you right after this. How about it, Kalani? 30 points. Nicely done. Mr. Brandon, rock star man. to the classroom. Today it's Millville High School and from Cumberland County in the studio. Here's the scores. You guys are going to love it. Students, 100 points for you guys. Teachers, right there with 60 points. You're playing a great game as well. This is anybody's and I put a little extra credit on the line because I know sometimes we need it. And I said this, what is the name of the faction that is considered selfless in the book series Divergent? Let's see who wrote down the correct answer here. Braden, we're going to start with you. You said abnegation. Abnegation is correct, gets you up to 110. Okay, good job. Mr. Brandon, we're gonna go to you guys next. Teachers, big book fans, big movie fans, but you said? Abnegation. Which sounds like a rock band, so we're not gonna accept that one, but how about it? Like, oh man, I, I know, audience, I know. Wrong spelling, so we could not accept it, but a lot on the line, you guys are gonna stay at 60, and we have $500 on the line. So we're gonna start with Braden. If you guys win this thing, where are you going to put that money? We're going to put it to funding our academic team. Oh, perfect place to put it. Everybody wins. That's you guys wrong. keep winning. You have a good academic team? Yeah, pretty yeah. good. All yeah. three of you are on it? <laughs> okay, well, huge news. I got to say this. I learned this during commercial. Watch how fantastic this is. All I have to say is this. Ready? Watch. Delasia's family, I love you! <laughs> and you get that response. It's outstanding. All right, nice to see you guys, too. Teachers, 500 on the line. Where's it going to go? Uh, we're going to fund some uh, student scholarships. Oh, man, you guys give it right back to the kids. I love it, although it would make for a good coffee maker in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> Just saying, but how about it? Music class is next. Let's do it. All right, guys, teams, grab your buzzers. You're going to need them here. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then you know him, the songbird of our generation. He goes by Mike Jarrett from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia. He's going to read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in correctly answer my question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your whole side is locked out, so be really careful. The other side can jump in, buzz in, and steal the points. How many do we have today? Three sets of lyrics? Perfect. We'll jump right in with this question. What British performer sings these lyrics in his 2012 song? Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Hi, everybody. This first one's a little tricky. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Sad answer, Mr. Knapp, and first in. Is it Ed Sheeran? Incorrect. Students for the steal if you'd like it. First one in, Kalani. Passenger. Passenger is right. She picks it up. She's feeling that vibe. You're like, yeah, I got it. 
All right, nice deal there. That's going to add 100, excuse me, 10 points to your score, get you up to 120. Here's question two. What performer raps these lyrics in his 2018 collaboration? Mike, take it away. Number two. Double up. Three or four times. I ain't telling no lies. I just run it up. Never let a hard time humble us. First one in, Mr. Knappen. Kendrick Lamar. A great guess, incorrect. Students, no guesses over here. Knappen's playing a great music class. He is just naming every artist he knows. Lipsy Hustle, how about it? I like the Kendrick Lamar answer out of you though. Very good, and how about it? We got one more to clean this up. A lot of points on the line here, somebody grab it. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2016 song? Last one, Mike. Here's your third one. I can relate to this song. <clears throat> I can't help loving myself. And I don't need nobody else. Nuh -uh. If I was you, I'd want to be me too. <laughs> I'd want to be me too. Yeah. Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer, me too. She is on fire in music class. How about a Kalani Delasia Braden gets you guys up to 130, a big lead over our teachers. And you guys, I've got it first. Mike, great job with that performance as always. But the score stand, teachers 60 points. But how about this? 300 points still on the line. And it all comes down in the final exam. Okay, the topic of the day, ladies and gentlemen, is transformations. Three questions all about that topic. Each correct answer is worth 100 points. They're gonna answer those things during the commercial break. They're gonna put their heads together, work as a team. Before they do that, I'm gonna read these questions off. Braden, a lot's on the line for you guys here. Who do you think you'd talk trash to most if you win this game? Mr. Knappen. Not even a close one, huh? Every class. Okay, <laughs> for the rest of eternity. Knappen, you might wanna win this. Here we go with this first question. What is the full name of the liquid, sometimes used as a disinfectant, that is a result of two hydrogen atoms bonding with two oxygen atoms. Question two, transformations. What 2014 Disney Channel original movie is about a girl whose dog training app malfunctions and transforms boys into obedient but lifeless versions of themselves? Finally, question three. In 2015, President Obama announced that the name of the highest mountain in North America, Mount McKinley, will be changed to what name used by Alaska Natives? I love these questions today. A little bit of something for everyone, so they're gonna work together as a team. Students are in the lead right now, but the teachers are known to finish games in a furious fashion. Can they come back, nail these three questions, and unseat the current leaders of the game? You're gonna have to come back to find out. We'll be right back here on The Classroom. Hey, join the show. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. I'm warming the hands up for a big finish in this final exam. Welcome back to the show. Today, you guys know the deal. Millville High School is in studio. Students are currently in the lead, 130 points. Over 60 points over their teachers. Mr. Brandon, you are the academic advisor yes. uh, for, your, for your school. You got a squad. Are these guys all members of the team? They are. So you got to be pretty proud then. How you feeling? I'm, I'm, I'm proud. Very happy that uh, they're winning, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes out here in the classroom. I mean, good job, teachers. You got them rocking and rolling, and they currently have the lead heading into our our final exam here, which we learned is all about transformations. Now, before the break, I already told you those three questions, but each correct answer that they get here in the final exam will be 100 points added to your score. I don't need to be a math wizard to know 130 minus 60 is less than 300. So anybody's game here. I mean, I thank goodness I didn't have a calculator handy there because I actually would have used it. Okay, let's do it with question one. Good luck, everybody. 
500 bucks on the line. What is the full name of the liquid sometimes used as a disinfectant that is a result of two hydrogen atoms bonding with two oxygen atoms? Here we go. We're going to start with our teachers. Miss Montz, you played a great game over there. You said? Hydrogen peroxide. And the game continues. Well done. Gets you up to 160. And how about it, teachers? That's what it feels like to be in the lead, and it's got to feel pretty good. All right, well, students, let's take that lead back. What did you say? Hydrogen peroxide. All right, Delasia. Good work. And we move into question two, 160, 230. What 2014 D Channel original movie is about a girl whose dog training app malfunctions and transform boys into obedient but lifeless versions of themselves? I love this movie. Teachers, if you get this wrong and the students get it right, the game is over, so just get it right and no worries. You said we're very confident about this one. Oh. Go Bolts. Fly, Eagles, fly. There it is. Okay, incorrect, but we love the hashtag. Go Birds. Kalani, this could be the game. That. That <laughs> is right at $500. Going home with the students. In 2015, President Obama announced at the highest mountain in North America, McKinley. It's changed its name to Denali. And both sides, they got it right. Students played an amazing game today. I can't wait to see the next one. It could be your school. So send us a message. Let us know. You want to be on the classroom? Let's do this thing. We'll see you next time right here.